Hey guys, it is Jazzy Ray here. I'm going to try to make this video as short as possible, but if not, I'll just make another one. Maybe tomorrow or so. Um, make sure you subscribe and comment and like the video. You got to do more than just watch it. You got to like it too, alright? So this video, we're about to get into some deep stuff. Some of y'all may not like what I'm about to say, but I'm just keeping it real. Um, so one thing is I'm taking this class on suicide prevention, right? And one thing that we discussed in class is that suicide in entertainment is kind of glorified. And that got me to thinking about a lot of things that are being glorified in the industry that's just there to blind us and to, to kind of have some type of mind control over us. And we, 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 we were blinded by the lights and the cameras, but we don't really know what's going on. So... Even though I feel like a lot of us know what's going on. So the first thing I want to discuss is suicide and mental health. Because I feel like it doesn't, it's not discussed. Suicide is something that people are ashamed about. Family members, the neighborhood, the state. As a matter of, I don't know if they, if it's still like this now. But once upon a time, if a family member committed suicide, you couldn't even have them buried. Okay? You couldn't even have them buried. Especially, like, if it's, like, a religious type thing because, and another thing I just want to say is, um, the, the terminology has been changed when it comes to suicide, meaning we don't say commit suicide anymore, we say complete suicide. The reason for that is, um, commit, commitment is, like, a spiritual thing. It's like a promise almost, right? Like, when you get baptized, I'm committed to this religion. When you meet someone and you connect, I'm committed to this relationship. So when you say, I'm committing suicide, you have you made a promise to yourself that you will commit suicide. Complete suicide is like completing a task, completing a goal, completing your homework, okay? Complete, not commit. And plus, with the whole religious thing, it's just... Committing a sin, okay? So, that's why we say complete and not commit. Okay? So, I just want to put that out there. Also, mental health is not talked about enough. I feel like, and I feel like I have a right to speak on entertainment because I feel like, well, for one, I will be in the entertainment industry. And two, when I get there, I plan on making some serious changes. Um, I feel like... Instead of being empathetic when it comes to to celebrities, because I think the thing we don't realize is that celebrities are human too. Even the ones who are being controlled, they're human too. They are what's in the words of so Illuminati or spiritual soul bots. There are bots in a human form, okay, which means they still are human, all right. And instead of bashing that person and calling them crazy and this and that whenever they have like a meltdown, why not have some empathy and, and, and talk about mental health? And the number one person I want to bring up is Kanye. Do I like Kanye? No. I don't like Kanye at all. I don't. I never liked him. Never. But when it comes to his, we know that he's bipolar. So when he has his episodes, people tend to bash him. And as far as like his views, those are his views. Do I agree with his views? No. Not really. I feel the problem with Kanye is he doesn't know how to articulate himself well. I don't think he means any harm, but at least some of the time he don't mean no harm. But but he has issues. And it may be, you know. I just feel like instead of just clowning him and making fun of him, maybe we, we should talk about mental health because you wouldn't do this to the average person. Or maybe you will do this to the average person. And you gotta remember, these celebrities, whether how I, I don't care how much they try to keep private, their lives are in the public. They struggle to keep their lives private. That's why you have, and I want to get on celebrities, the celebrity couples too because... That's another thing that we glorify that's not real, you know, especially with social media. 
Um, another thing is, like I said, suicide is definitely glorified in the industry. Death period is glorified in the industry. People make a lot of money after they die. And people make a lot of money writing songs about death. You know what I mean? Now, to me, I look at death as a transformation. You know, it's something that's symbolic. But you take a look at rappers like Tupac and Biggie. X. And niggas get mad when you bring up X. But let's just call a spade a spade. They spoke death so much. If you speak death so much and you believe that you're going to die, what do you think is going to happen? You spoke it and not only did you speak it, you believed it. Tupac believed that he was going to die at 25. He wouldn't live past 25. Had a whole album prepared. Had all these songs prepared. If I die this way, put that song out. If I die that way, put that song out. I just want to prepare myself. Which means you're going to die. If you already are thinking about death and you believe it, you already died. You're, you're just the, uh, you're, you're the walking dead right now. And that is not talked about in the industry. Suicides are glorified. I mean, y'all came out a little bit and talked about Juice World and his drug overdose, but y'all didn't come out hard enough. I didn't come out hard enough. You have Future write a song about Molly Percocets that he's never even, he don't even do that. But now you got people looking up to him because he wrote a song about it. And he's influential like that. And I want to touch on the music. Because I feel like a lot of people don't understand the power of creativity. And my thing is everybody has a talent. We all have the talent to sing, dance, rap, act. We all got that talent. It's all about tapping into it. You got to tap, tap into the energy. Because you may not know if you're good at something. If you, or if you have a passion for that. If you don't tap in. Sweetie, okay? Tap in. But if you listen to Tupac and Biggie time and time again, especially that Me Against the World album, that Ready to Die album, now they may, now Biggie's head, he probably thought that that could have been like a transformation for him because you had the next album was the, um, the what was it? Born Again? I forget. Life After Death. Life After Death. Okay, but he manifested his own death just by making the Ready to Die album. And we already know Tupac did. So if you listen to their music, rap their lyrics, and actually feel what they saying, you believe what they say, what do you think is going to happen to you if you're not strong-minded? If your energy ain't high, if anything's going to lower your energy. But if you are already low vibrational, what do you think is going to happen to you? You're going to end up just like them. As a woman, and y'all going to get mad, I have nothing against trap music. If you want to listen to trap music, listen to it. But here's the thing with trap music. Y'all got to, y'all, I don't think y'all realize that when y'all listen to that trap music, you're glorifying misogyny. You're saying it's okay. Now, if you can listen to it and be like, you know what, Gucci Mane go hard, but you know what, that ain't me. I ain't no hoe, I ain't no slut. I just like the music. Okay, I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about the people who actually listen to it and believe what they're saying. Because, I don't know if y'all realize, but you, do y'all realize that the, your music can determine who you can be friends with and who you can marry and who you're going to marry? Did you know that? That's how much music can impact you. If you're the type of person, the type of woman who dates guys who disrespects them and call them all type, call you all type of bitches and hoes, chances are you probably was you probably was listening to some music and thought that was okay, and you definitely got some self love issues. Music is part of it, but self love is like the bigger part. But there has been so many times when we see these celebrities and we look up to them and we like we want men that's just like them, and then come to find out they trash or they is trash, but you probably like rock, you know, how they look, look and stuff. 
Like, I had the biggest crush on Trey Songs. I had no idea that man was trash. But if y'all sit there and I want him, you don't want him. You want a dude that's just like him. Okay? And I know y'all gonna watch this and be like, what is she talking about? You know? And you're probably gonna get mad. But if you don't know how to separate the, the art from reality, what do you think is gonna happen to you if you actually believe those lyrics? If you can watch something and actually believe what's happening and really... Come on. And that's the same thing with WAP. And don't get me wrong, I love WAP. Because that song ain't hurting nobody. But the problem is you have women who, listen, who, who, who downplay that song, but they listen to trap music. Uh, and that's real misogyny. The women singing about sex, they're not hurting nobody by singing about sex. But you have... The, the male rappers. But it's okay for y'all to listen to them. But when a woman talks about her body. Oh that's just. That's that's wrong. What? Ma'am. Ma'am. And that's been a problem for years. You know. Hey listen to what you want to listen to. But I'm just saying. Know the difference between reality and entertainment. And I want to get on the celebrity couples or social media couples. Couple goals. Because I feel like you got some people who admire couples. And then you got some people who are just so obsessed with the couple. Oh, couple goals. I want to be just like them. I want to be just like Beyonce and Jay-Z. I want a relationship like that. No, you don't. Jay-Z cheated on Beyonce. Why would you want a relationship like that? My thing is, y'all don't know what's going on in these relationships. But you, you need to pick your stars a little more carefully. I, I, I'm pretty sure T.I. and Tiny was couple goals. I'm pretty sure of it. That ride or die, I'm pretty sure T.I. and Tiny were couple goals. I'm pretty sure I and Tina were couple goals back in the day. Before it came out that he was beating her up. I'm pretty sure of it. Y'all don't know what's going on in these relationships. Y'all sitting here posting pictures... Of these couples. When in real life they probably can't stand each other. And they stay off social media because they know. They might. Come on. Open your eyes. I'm pretty sure Dear and Ken was couple goals. And they may still be couple goals to y'all. But then it came out that he cheated not once but twice. And the thing is the first time he got caught y'all let it go. The thing that I, the only thing I can say about Dear and Ken is that they keep their business themselves. We don't know what was said and what Dear said to Ken and if it's gonna work it out or not. You just saw them together. That's it. You don't know. They could they could just be doing it. And I actually do believe that they're, at this point it's just for business purposes at this point. But that's just my opinion. I don't know what's really going on. But my thing is y'all looked up to them as a couple and then it came out. You shouldn't have been looking at and then you, you but cause my thing is when celebrities are not who you think they are, you're disappointed. Oh my gosh, I d I didn't know he was like that. That's that's because you shouldn't have been looking up to them in the first place. You look up to your parents. You don't look up to no damn celebrity who don't care about you, who don't even know you. I advise y'all to watch an episode of Facts of Life if y'all can find it called Starstruck. Kim Phil's character, Jermaine Jackson. I'm, I'm not even going to give it away, but watch it. Okay? Because honestly, the shit that, that, that y'all be doing, this glorifying shit, that's something little kids do. That's something a child would do. You know? And I'm just keeping it real. Y'all may not like what I'm about to say. It's okay to admire a couple and be like, you know what? I know they got problems. But I admire them because they strong and they work it out and they get through it. But you really got people like, oh my gosh, I love them. I want to be just like them. Oh my gosh. And they have no idea what's going on. Why do y'all look up to celebrities? Why? Why? Do you, not, not even look up. Y'all worship them. You worship God or the universe. Whatever your, your higher power is, that's what you worship. You look up to your parents. You admire celebrities. I, I just don't understand it. And and the thing is, it's like so many things are being... Even this dumb shit with the gorilla girl. Y'all really making jokes about this shit. 
And my thing is, well, you know, I she did whether or not she did this shit for clout or she didn't do it for clout, she got clout. But y'all sitting here making jokes about it. And now she doing dumb shit because she did it. And she's I'm not gonna get into it. Cause I was gonna make a video on that. And there's no point for me to make a video on that. Cause what she did was stupid. It was just stupid. You can't even get the type of gorilla spray that she was using. You can't even get that from the hair department. There is a gorilla snot snot gel because I was gonna buy it one time. But there is no gorilla gorilla snot spray. She should have known better than that. A little kid would know better than that. But y'all making jokes about it, glorifying it. And actually doing dumb shit after that. I saw one video, this girl was, I think she poured some type of um, alcohol on her vaginal area. And it's like, why would you do that? And now you got little kids looking up to that. Same thing with these couples, same things with the rappers talking about drugs and all that. And my thing is, I gotta question the parents. Ain't really the child's fault and it's not really the entertainer's fault. But I gotta question the parents because what are y'all letting y'all kids be exposed to? That's like the whole thing with Cardi B and the WAP and oh, her daughter can't listen to it but our daughters can't. Cardi B is not, not your daughter's parent. What are you talking about? Raise your own kids and stop looking for celebrities. It's the same thing. Stop worshiping celebrities. Stop it. That's all I gotta say. Um, make sure y'all comment and subscribe. And if you get mad by anything that I said, tough. Tough. All, all I can do is keep it real. And I'll see you guys when I see you guys.